Zach Morris is trash. It's best friend week in speech class. Sure, Slater's best friend has always been there for him, so not Zach. He's talking about his chameleon Artie. Uh, hope nothing bad happens to that guy. Zach's disgusted by Slater's gentle bond developed over many years. Slater wants to share Artie's love. Zach says no thanks and makes an unwanted lecherous move on Kelly. Slater's been best buds with Artie since they found each other when his dad was stationed overseas. Zach tells Slater to go bang his foreign reptile. Slater trusts Screech to watch Artie while he's gone this weekend. He knows Screech has many pets he cares for. Zach can't imagine caring for for anyone but himself. Kelly, angel among us, needs help with her speech. But Jesse's busy with a protest. Zach sees a window to offer slimy assistance. Cause I'm a generous, caring individual. Who's hornier than a rhinoceros brass band. Zach practice fondles a Kelly cutout before the real Kelly arrives like a fucking serial killer. Screech needs Zach's help watching Artie. All his other pets want to eat him. Zach says yeah, whatever, and gets Screech out of there to pressure Kelly into a Thursday tugdown. Kelly's delighted to see Artie, but Zach says just throw him over there. Then, instead of helping with her speech, surprise, he makes aggressive sexual advances that are thankfully thwarted by Jessie. Her protest was called off. She can help Kelly now, first by helping her leave. Zach says Artie's sure been sleeping a lot. He doesn't look like like he's sleeping. Zack, with the emotional IQ of a Snickers bar, doesn't get it. Screech explains. Artie's dead. Zack says no way. Maybe Artie's just bored because school sucks. The gang has an emotional reaction to this sad news. Zack does not. He's a sociopath. They each wonder if they're responsible. Jesse left a drafty window open. Kelly left Artie under a lamp. Worst of all, Screech left Artie with Zack. Zack denies any culpability for the death he supervised. Screech says Artie probably died of old age. And incurable blonde complications. But instead of telling Slater what happened, Zack chucks Artie's carcass, then says Artie's napping at his place. He'll grab him at lunch. Screech almost lets the truth slip. Zack strangles him. Zack purchases a replacement Artie to trick Slater. Only the girls, confident Zack would lie, but less confident he'd do anything beyond that. Also got a substitute chameleon. They've been hanging with Zack too long. Slater realizes something's fishy with these dual identical color changing creatures. Zack continues his cover up, saying Artie's lost at his house. Yeah, lost to Jesus. Zack wonders if Slater will blame him for the thing he did and is still doing. Slater strolls in, unknowingly calling out to his dead friend. Heart-wrenching. But Zack's unable to come clean until he has to when the gang walks in holding a decaying Artie. Slater tries to play it cool, but he's crushed. Slater's spiraling and acting out in class getting sent to Belding's office. Belding heard Slater was being a real shithead in class. That doesn't sound like Slater. Sounds like Zack Morris. Zack interrupts to ask if Slater's ready to apologize for making him feel bad about letting his best friend die and then covering it up. Belding has a real talk with Slater about life and death. It's never fair who stays and who goes. If it was, Zack would have been out the door a long time ago. He hugs Slater, and the healing begins. But Zack, who basically pulled the trigger on the art man, makes Artie's memorial service all about himself. He delivers some hollow opening remarks. Then, after everyone else speaks from their heart, Zack says it's time to go flush Artie down the toilet. Let's review. Zack Morris mocked Slater's beautiful friendship with Artie. When Screech came to him in a desperate move to keep Artie alive, Zack tossed him aside to lure Kelly into his latest handjob ambush, and couldn't look after Artie close enough to see he died, then lied to Slater over and over to cover up the death. So when he got the news dropped on him, he couldn't grieve, just self-destruct, leaving Belding to pick up the pieces. Also, Zack could bury Artie where the jocks have diarrhea, and Artie did not die of old age. He got locked in a room with Zack Morris for two days and probably fucking killed himself. Zack Morris is trash. Zack Morris is trash.